To master organic chemistry, we should have an idea of some of the structural details of the methyl radical. And here's what it looks like. It has one lone electron on the carbon. And here's the structural details that I'd like you to know. First of all, this carbon right here, we said before, if a carbon has three single bonds and one lone electron there, then it has a formal charge of zero. And what is the hybridization of this carbon? Well, notice he has a total steric number of three, which simply makes him sb2 hybridized, which means his bond angle should be 120 degrees. So a more true to life perspective here would be this right here. Notice the upper left hydrogen is going back behind the screen. The lower left hydrogen is coming out at you and the hydrogen to the right is in the plane of the screen. And since that central carbon is sp2 hybridized, we know every sp2 hybridized atom has three sp2 orbitals. These would be the orbitals that are bonding with the hydrogens and he has that one unhybridized p orbital and in this case that's where that lone electron would reside. Another perspective of this molecule would look like this. So make sure you remember these structural details of the methyl radical.